Hi, today we will see about some of the wildcards, uh, wildcard characters that are used in an SQL server. The wildcards, what are wildcards? They are used to substitute for any character in a string. That is, the, the these wildcard characters can be used as substitute for a, a character in a string. There are different types of wildcard characters. That is like ampersand, modulus, underscore and some set of strings can be set of characters can be given like this character list and and these all wildcards are used by using a like operator this like operator is used for this it is basically these wildcards are used to search the data from a table first we will see about the modulus um, modulus operator character uh, wildcard character see i am having a table like employee details in which i am going to search some data like select employees uh, employee underscore name from employee details where emp name like i want all the uh, 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 I want all the employee names with ends with the letter D. For that, I have given like this. This a modular symbol so shows that it represent it it um, actually uh, substitute a char characters of a string. This in it means that all the letter the characters in before that uh, name can be any character, but it should end with the letter D. In my table, if you see, it the only two table two rows are there, uh, which ends with the D. But whatever front in front there are there may be any any number of uh, characters or any characters will be there, but we will get an output like which ends with only with D. See, Anand Arvind going three three rows are there. If if I give like uh, if I if I give this ampersand at the last, if I give a and then ampersand, this indicates that with the uh, with the employee name which starts with a and and then any number of characters will be there uh, later on, and so. In that way, if you will get only two rows, that is Arvind and Anand C. Only these two will get, we are getting. So that that is what this modulus characters it substitutes zero or any number of characters in a string. Okay, and the next next thing is next is underscore 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 wildcard character that is how we will see okay see if i use like a underscore it it oh, it's only substitute a single characters that is a a underscore a and then if i'll give two underscores then uh, then what output i will get it, it it this underscore single underscore it will substitute only for a single character see i it is it starts with a and then any any single character can be there and again a and again they i have given two single uh, underscores that is two letters see how what we will get is The output which I am getting is Anand. See, only five five letters are there. So, five letters name is Anand. I am getting the output like Anand. And again, what I am going to see is that like I am giving A and then single character, then A and then I am giving like ampersand. See what does this after a any character can be there and again a and after that uh, after that a, anything can be there uh, after a it can be any number of characters if i'll execute this 
what output I'm see I'm getting these two why because a is there and then single characters any character can be there and then a is there and then any number of characters I am again I am using a modulus symbol over here this is another one thing we can use and if I want if I want to give a character list then how I can give is see here if I will give in like something if I want some uh, letters which starts with A, B, C, then I'll give like A comma B comma C. C I think no, nothing is there. A, B and L. If I'll give this, what does it mean? It it means the all the letters which starts with A and ends with and that is what it starts with a b c a b l and now how many i am going to get is a with a2 b1 and l so total four rows i should select c4 1 2 3 4 that means it will selects only the uh, i can give a, a character list that is which is starts with uh, this respective characters and again we are uh, we can give like uh, if I want to give A to L, if I'll give like this, what I'll get the output is from alphabet starting with A to L, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, L, like that up to L, whatever the name, employee names are selected, those all employee names will be, we will get from A to L, C, A to L, whatever. I'll, I'm having the names there, they, they will all will get as an output. And the next thing is we can use as a not like. See, if I, if I don't want like, um, other than starting with letters A, then I can use like not C. I, I don't get the letters with A starting with the letters. The other thing we can do is, the same thing can be done as A and then not symbol can also be given. Let's see. It starts with. Okay, this is how we can, um, I think nothing are there. So, th uh, this is how we can give. The names with the Anand and Arvind. Okay, this is all the wildcards that we have seen. And the next thing we are going to see is a top top operator this top operator is used to select that uh, some like uh, from a table from select top i want to select some top three row three rows from my table like employee details top three from employee details table see i i'll get from top three from I want top three rows from an employee tables that is what I am getting top three rows from employee tables this is how we can use an a top operator this top operator can be used as a otherwise like top uh, if I want some 50 percent from by percentage also we can select the rows see from top If I select some from top 50% from table employee details, I'll get all the okay. I have to give top 50% matlab uh, means a five five rows. I'm getting all the five 50%. If I get if I'll give 
forty percent, then I'll get forty percent of an rows from an a particular table. See, yeah, I'm have I'm having a, a four uh, ten rows. Then I'm going uh, out of that forty percent is four rows. I'm getting the output as four rows. That is what we have seen for today. That is like wildcards. There are different types of wildcards. These wildcards are actually used to substitute any character in a string, and it is used to search the data. And the other thing is uh, for uh, selecting uh, for selecting some particular uh, rows uh, in particular top uh, top operator is used for this purpose. For this is for today. Thank you. Thank you for listening.